Can we talk about your new song? Yeah. A new day. I'd love to. So literally, I was listening to it last night with yeah. some friends, and we it, like we all went, "Whoa!" That's awesome. Well, is was it inspired any at all? Because we all need a new day, or was it just God's timing and like, yeah, this is this is good. So you want to? Here's the real story. I actually wrote New Day in 2018, and when I wrote New Day. It took us three writing sessions because the challenge with writing a new song, a, a song that's positive and upbeat, is that it can have a lot of cheese on it and just be like, oh, that's so cheesy. Mm. So as you're combing through the lyrics, you're trying to say, how can we make this fresh? And how can we make it a song that could resonate with people, but not feel like, oh my gosh, here is this. Mm -hmm. Because God is the greatest artist of all time. You know, he's the greatest songwriter of all time. And we should be able to write songs, this is what I believe, write songs from our Father because he created music, the church should be on the cutting edge of the best music out there. That's my thoughts. And so I was like, there is a way to do this without being cheesy. So we finally got it, and I love this song ever since we had it. But I never released it as a single. And I regretted never releasing it as a single. And, and I was like, and I, I honestly was ready to give up and move on. But then as 2020 was progressing, and my album, my label is asking me for a new record, I just put the brakes in and I said, we need to release this song. I said, I believe God wants, because I, I always regretted that I didn't. I said, I believe God has held this song back for this mm. season. He put this song in hiding for such a time as this because the church needed to be encouraged. The church needed to know that God's economy, God's system is not based on the world's economy and not based on the world's system. And that we're able, you know, when his kingdom comes established through our lives, we can bring his kingdom to earth. And I believe this is a call to the saints to say, hey, it might not look hopeful, but it's bursting with hope mm -hmm. because the king of hope lives inside of you. And it's a fun song to listen to. Yeah. And there's some dance moves in there. Yeah, there you, is. You know, <laughs> so just, just saying. It's fun, too. It's hopeful and it's fun. And I think we should we have that. music like that, right? As Christians, like, what? We don't have to always be in the, in the slow, you know, the laid back. I think this is worship. And that's what I think the church mistakes. Worship is a lifestyle, and it's not a melody, and it's not a, it's part of it, but it's not a somber thing. It is a rejoicing, triumphant, jubilant thing.